Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson about glazing. So glazing is a technique for applying color over an underpainting. Glazing is a technique that has been employed by painters for centuries. Well-known old masters who use this technique include Da Vinci, Vermeer, Rembrandt, and hundreds more. However, new masters such as Quang Gwen, whose art is featured to the right, also use this technique. Glazing creates a unique shine-through, stained glass-like effect that is not obtainable by direct mixture of paint. It's the perfect technique for painting the complexities of skin tones. In addition to an underpainting and your other oil painting materials, you're going to need the following supplies in order to do glazing. The first is a glazing medium. There are many companies which make glazing mediums which you can use immediately or you can make your own with one part linseed oil and one part turpenoid. You can prepare to glaze by mixing one part of your glazing medium with one part of the paint that you're using. If you are painting in layers, you need to know about the fat over lean rule. Each new layer of paint needs to have more oil in it than the previous layer. The reason for this is because a painting surface can expand, bend, and warp over time. If the bottom layers of a painting have more oil and are consequently softer or fatter than the top layers, it could cause the painting to crack. Therefore, when doing an underpainting, you should not use glazing medium or oil. Rather, introduce it slowly into the subsequent layer of paint. As can be seen to the picture in the left, a glaze can be applied with a soft bristle brush or a finger or a cloth over another thoroughly dried layer of opaque paint. Glazes can only be added onto dry coats of paint. If you make a mistake while glazing or don't like the color, a glaze can be removed with solvent and a rag easily while it is still wet. Glazes modify the value, hue, and texture of a surface. Because a glaze layer will darken the painting, it is essential to remember to keep the values a tad bit lighter when doing the underpainting. The beautiful thing about glazing is that the appearance of the colors when glazed one on top of the other is different than when the colors are mixed. Now we are going to watch a demonstration from New York City based artist Ken Goshen and he is going to glaze this tomato that we see in the bottom left. <laughs> 